Hey guys, so it's March 20th now. Um, I'm going to invite you today to a Zoom meeting. I said there would definitely be one next Friday, but our next Monday and Wednesday. But I'm going to give one a shot for this Friday. Here's the link right here on this page. Um, we'll see how it goes. It was great talking to your moms and dads all about what was going on and your progress. And everyone's doing a really good job with what they're, um, how they're completing their work. I'm really proud of you guys. Okay. So there might be something else today for you to look for, take a peek around. Um, one of the things I was really proud of is how your work is being turned in. I think it's amazing. And also the idea that so many of you are working with younger siblings to help out too. That's fabulous. If you want, what I want you to think about is feel free in some of your spare time to build your own passion project. Research something that you really want to do and create a um, Google account, just go to a Gmail, log in with Google only, it won't work on Safari, but you can go to Safari and go to Google, and then create a site. Um, link it to me, send it to me so I know what's going on. Um, reading today, I want you to read for 45 minutes. It's a little bit more than normal, but it's a light load. Today's gonna be a little bit lighter than everything else. Fill out the form, submit it to me by seven o'clock. It's got some questions there. For writing today, um, try to gross me out, I guess. Your writing assignment is what would you, how could you make the most disgusting sandwich in the world? Um, for me, it might be mustard and strawberry jelly on rye bread, but maybe you can think of something that's even worse. Uh, what I want you to do is fill out the form that I attached there and just tell me what your grossest sandwich would be. Remember, I might be eating lunch after this though. And then in math, what I want you to do is something a little bit unusual too. measure the length of your bed. And I want you to use non-standard units of measurement. That would mean like a standard unit of measurement is a ruler or a yardstick. But a long time ago, they used to use non-standard measures, like maybe the length of your arm or other units as well. It could have been a shell. So if I told you my bed was 126 pieces of sea glass long, I want you to tell me how long your bed is. You could use dollar bills, which as a matter of fact are six inches, by the way. You could use socks, little socks, big socks, whatever you want to do. Um, but try to figure out different ways that you could, um, different things you could use as a form of measurement. Feel free to email me or send me a link. Um, I'm trying to think of Zeke sent me his picture that he, let me show it to you really quickly. Um, he sent me a picture of the drawing that he did today. So there you go. That was his turtle that he did. So feel free to um, message me. I hope you guys are doing okay. This is getting a little bit crazy as far as how long it's going. So I hope you're doing all right. And thanks for filling out your work and doing such a good job with it. Bye.